be again the value which we are given that 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So in this case, we can't use the show in percent. So always when you are saying some KPI is in a kind of a percentage, right? 70%, 80% profit or loss, whatever it is. So it's always best practice to go with the integer kind of a format, number format and use show in percent. So this will show it in the graph. See, now it gives a good value on the chart as well, 50%, 60%. So where exactly we are, 70%, 77% or 78% here. So we are above target or below target or what is our load factor now. We can identify our KPA easily from here. And anything in the font, we'll change the font to it because these values are very big here. Okay, we will use the eight. Okay, and fine, we have to format this. Right. Okay. Now we will make this little bit smaller here so that it will fit our chart size or the border size. Right. Looks fine. Fine. Okay. Now we have done this of load factor. I feel there is something missing in this here, right? So this is giving, this pointer is giving me somewhere here 78% until and unless I go on to this uh, and scroll with my mouse or else hover my mouse over here, it will give me 78%. Isn't it will be good if we can have something displayed here in the meter, like a digital kind of what is the percentage this particular needle is showing. So to do that, there are a couple of things you can do. See, these all particular options will fall under the presentation tab. How you want to present this particular gate chart in the sheet. Now you see, there's something kind of text in chart over here. This particular option or this particular property here. We will select add. What is that you want to see in the text? So this particular value. 78% which the needle is showing that particular value we want to see it in the text chart in text so what we have to do is that is nothing but our expression we will select this from the expression tab so that we need not write it again and again so we will select that there and we will add it here and we will put it here right and what exactly this one will give us this one will give us just the expression there let's see how exactly this gives us here so it has placed it here somewhere here on the top so what we have to do is we have to get it over here right so how we can do that so once you select this particular object you need to click use control and shift on this object so that it will show the grids or the objects available. Now you see this object. So I'm slowly dragging this object here. Place it very carefully, nice and easy. Right. What is this? We have got only our expression here. We did not get any numeric value there. So I will again select this. I'll edit this. I want it in a numeric format see number number and this one is fine so how we want to display the number formatting see this expression will not give us any number formatting so to convert this expression to number we are using the num function num okay you can I think it will be available here 
Sambil See here Number function So once we select it here It will give us how the Particular number function Should be the syntax of this number function Right So what? how we are using it? We are using it here to our expression using the number function. And when you see this, this equal to really plays a major role. This says identify this as an expression with a number format. If you don't give equal to, it will just paste again the same expression there in the chart. Okay. And what is a number format here? So the formatting is again uh, so it should be in how in a thousands or a with a percentage value right so we'll give some hash hash value some two digit value comma some one decimal as well to be shown in kind of a percentage that's it Okay, fine. Is this fine? Can you hear me now? Hello? Okay, fine. Sorry guys, I forgot to plug in my charger. Okay, what we are looking at, we were formatting the number over here in this expression. Now, this is how our number should look like. Any design the outcome of this value or the expression should be displayed in a number yeah and in this format so now you see that is fine and what is the font as well if you want to change the font of this in the display over here mm, do we need font here okay we'll see 12 Okay, and what is that? Okay, cool. Why is this comma coming over here? Okay, we'll look into this now again. So this is not right. Something has gone wrong. Select this number in chart, text in chart. Sorry, and we'll edit this. We'll edit this. Let's see if we can just start over here. And okay, this is to the left. So we will align it to the center slowly. And font will select it as bold apply okay okay apply okay yeah now this looks good so we can position this here somewhere right again control shift we'll take it slowly here Okay, now this gives me a good picture. Let's let's see. Can keep it here as well. You can see the properties. So this is how you add text in a particular chart over here. 
now you see now this will this one will give me a clear picture of how exactly a gate chart works and and how it can you can display some different value in a gate chart so that you can you need not hover your mouse onto your needle to see what value it is see it is just showing 78 percent but to be precise it is 77.5 percent if you want couple of more decimals as well you can add it here again you can edit this expression anytime you can go to the end of it you can add another hash over here it will give you another decimal place over here 77.52 percentage so load factor is 77.52 percentage and when you split that right okay what we'll do is we'll see only for this domestic US carriers right this was a load factor which we have seen in this chart 77.5 percentage for domestic US carriers let's see uh, where is our domestic US carriers here this flight you see this value 77.50 is the domestic US carriers is this the correct value let's go to our analysis tab right that is the correct value there we'll clear this and we'll see for domestic foreign carriers is 69 percentage right domestic foreign carriers here see 69.4 69.04 percentage is this the correct value right 69.0 that is because it is we have just selected only one decimal value if you have selected two decimal values it should have given the correct value here 69.04 so our particular gate chart is now behaving properly which is working fine to say see it is changing the needle as well into the color gradient now this shows like our load factor percentage for this US carriers sorry domestic foreign carriers is 69% percent and you can see the value for 2009 it will be 65 yes 65.2 in 2010 it is 68.56 right the same value in 2011 it is 74.29 75.3 right it has rounded it to its nearest decimal so this is all about our gate chart so we have achieved one of our another KPI right another KPI using a gate chart this one right So this is done. So in the same way, we will create other two gauges as well and we have to change the expressions in those gauges. That's it. So what we can do is instead of going through all the process of creating a new gauge like we ought to have done you always have the option to copy this right cloning see here another gate chart has come up again I will clone this so in total we need three gauges right for our analysis over here one for load factor which is done, one for perform versus schedule flights and one for a time percentage. So we can use this here and if we can clone them and we can just change the expressions. Properties because I am getting two load factor percentage here, one in the caption, one is in the title of the chart. So I now have selected show title in chart. Let's keep it for there and we'll go to the caption and we'll remove the caption okay apply okay now this looks fine and we can the transparency property as well we can remove that it should be somewhere it's uh, 
this transparency to be 100% frame background right apply okay this is good and do we need these borders no we'll go to the layout use borders with uncheck apply now this looks very good so this is fine so we have created a very beautiful gate chart and we have changed couple of properties to look it very good okay and now this gives me good value so we'll remove these two now why we are removing this i'll tell you sorry now we'll clone it so that so that all the properties of the first created gate chart will be carry forward to other clone charts right these look good and this one is out of the yes now you see the grid all are having equal spaces between the charts now we'll un we'll uncheck this show grid we'll quickly save this okay and we can reuse our charts for other kpis See, because we have removed the borders, it is very difficult to identify where our border of this is. So we have to select this. For that, what we can do is, if we want to see the borders of any particular object or the chart in this one, in the sheet, so we can select this and mm -hmm. see here. Now the borders have come up. So you can select the properties now. What is our second KPI? It was the perform versus scheduled. Show title and chart. Okay, we'll copy this again. Do we need it here? Show title and chart is not needed go to expression we'll change the expression name first and we'll change our formula perform versus schedule will be sum of uh, first we'll see this should be sum of performed Right, departures performed right we have the formula ready and divided by sum of again performed versus scheduled sum of departures scheduled paste now this expression is okay this is performed divided by scheduled will give us a perform versus scheduled percentage okay perform versus scheduled okay this looks fine we'll copy this so that we can use it in our text in chart 
we can come back again anytime and we can copy we'll go to our presentation we'll change our maximum value to point 1.2 okay and show scale six eight major units will give because we increased our value maximum value we will edit the text in chart which is fine mm -hmm. Okay, this one is still here and this one expression is okay everything looks fine font do we need to change the font that's fine any other options to be changed that's fine we'll just select this okay we need title in chart now because we are removed the caption right show title in chart use first expression label right that is fine and this is very big So we have to reset that size. There will be wrap text somewhere. So we can wrap the text of it like we normally do in a Windows uh, of Word, Microsoft Office Word documents. Okay, we will see that again first we will uh, change our third gauge as well with the a time percentage right then we will look into that we will see how to change the value in that a time uh, this perform versus scheduled okay properties what was our third KPI a time percentage so we'll go to the expression we'll change the label first then we'll go to expression window edit expression and what will be our criteria here it will be the sum of a time right sum of total a time means the flights in air all the flights in air divided by sum of again the formula over here it will be sum of from ramp to ramp time ramp to ramp is from when the airport has taken off from the runway or the ramp we can say the connecting once it starts its engine and takes it off, uh, and all the passengers are loaded close the doors take it from away from onto the runway that point of time to the time it again opens its doors for the passengers to go out of the airline so that is called as a ramp to ramp time okay so we'll select this sum of a time 
divided by sum of ram to ram time. We'll remove the earlier expression. Now expression is okay, right? We'll control A, select this, control C, so that we have to use it further. Text in chart in the presentation tab. Okay, what is the maximum value? Anything is fine. Maximum is fine. We'll show as six major units and height segments fine and segment values are fine and text in chart it has to be edited. We'll replace this text with the one we have copied earlier. Okay. Okay. There you go. You see, now we have created three gauges here. First one was very difficult and cloning the second and third was very easy, right? So now we have achieved our other KPIs as well. So now they look very fine. You can see they're working well. The numbers are changing. First we'll remove this grid over here. Okay, the numbers are changing. They're working fine now. Okay, we are seeing so many values, so many changes in these, all these, these boxes as well, right. So we are done with this. So these are also done. We just need to look into the formatting of it sometimes. Or else what you can do is you can always extend this. Okay, we'll do that. Now you see, we have to resize our uh, gauge a little bit so that, okay, fine. Now all the three are in place, sync, now this has to be moved a little bit right all the objects within that so that it is placed fine is it in the right right so this has to be moved a little bit to the middle of it so that it has a correct spacing between the two other two cages now this looks fine see Okay guys, this is how we have created our gauges and have cloned our existing gauge to show us the values or the KPIs for other KPIs, sorry, the gauge for the other KPIs. So these are done now, these three. So we look at the other gauges. Okay, in the next class, we'll see how are the other, what are the other gauges and how, it's like just couple of minutes, it will not take more than that. We'll see how other gauges are, what are the other gauges and depending on the KPI or depending on the client, how we can attract the client with show some good information we can use those gauges or the charts okay then we'll we'll look into the other KPIs as well so perform versus this is also done and here in plant passengers these four has to be taken care of so we'll these five market share and the other four KPIs these five KPIs we'll look tomorrow and a time is also done now so we are almost like done almost with half done with our KPIs right so we'll end up our session today here and we'll see if anyone has any questions